I have two delegations. I'm Ms. Andrade, and I've got uh, uh, Flavio Pinato as the two delegations. Ms. Andrade, please. Hmm? Well, wait till she gets up here. Okay, my name is Kayla Andrade. I'm here to protest the fact that I believe that landlords obviously shouldn't be responsible for someone else's debt. Um, I've uh, came across, try to get some information just to see where you guys are coming from and how much you guys are either getting from the water or how much tenants or people in the city are actually paying for fees regarding their water bill. Like I mentioned last, the last council meeting, we have a deposit of $230, which if the, the tenant does get cut off, there's a $300 removal of the water meter fee. So 230 doesn't even cover the removal of the meter, so I don't know how $230 is going to help when it comes down to a delinquent water count for the, for the landlords. Setup account, $25. Final meter read fee, $50. Water charges, $586. What, wastewater charges, $546. Tenants fee, $4 a month. Infrastructure, infrastructure debt, $0.79. Cents. The fee removal, $300. I was wondering what the post-dated check fee is. I was also uh, found that the transfer for a tenant for accounts in the collection process is $100 for the tenant and only 50 for the landlords. It's the same process. Why is it such a big price difference? What is the fee for the customer's error fee? The, state, the statement of an account fee, uh, what is that fee? Uh, return check from the bank, what, how much is that fee? Late payment fee, 1.25%. 1 the reason why I'm rambling these off is because this is what a landlord can also pay, not just the consumption of water. Is the city going to be charging other fees uh, because of the fire line issue? So if you help them to take the burden off of them, it's only 3,000 accounts. We're not asking, we're not having a lot more accounts, it's 3,000. Can you find the savings to help us out for 3,000 3, accounts? People are also being charged water and wastewater charges on empty units. I have looked on the city website and I found that there was a lot of money that comes in just from fees. For interest on overdue accounts, the city generates the $75,000. Water certificates are $25,000. Final meter read fees are $250,000. Set up account fees bring in $125,000. Post data checks are $1,500. A shut off fee is $2,500. Uh, traced items are 9000 Tenant properties user fees for the tenants that pay $8, that's $70,000 that low-income people are paying. Water billing, so it's, I don't know what this means, but it shows 17575000 and sewer is $18,020,000. So this is kind of money that you guys are receiving, and to say that you don't have any savings to get us off the hook for something that is really not our responsibility. Um, I will also know if the revenue where it says the, uh, the water meter removal, uh, th is that included in the shut off fee where it was charged $25,000 for? And why is the city overcharging it? It's not like I can go to another company and get my water. The problem is that the city has done nothing in the past 30 years to fix the problem with the pipes and now money is needed to fix and the city don't have it. You are changing the rules in the middle of the game. Who's going to be paying my water bill if I default? I don't have anybody to pay my debts, and I don't think I should pay for someone else's. The water account contract is between the city and the user, and I am clearly not the user. This bylaw was passed. This bylaw was passed because the city is in hardship and can't afford to run the water billing business. My proposed changes: outsourcing the company, even talk to Hydro. I know they probably want to double for what you guys were actually paying them initially to take over this water billing. Well, from all the fees that you're that is there and that newly charged to tenants, just close your eyes, pick about four of them, and let Hydro implement them. And that extra bit of money can help you pay Hydro for them to handle the billing. Charges for the tenants. You guys are charging $8 every two months. I really believe that it should be either broadcasted right away, and you guys could bring in about $320,000 every two months. Do you know how many water pipes you guys could fix over that? It's a lot of money. I know a lot of people may be upset about it, but it is a lot of money. Flagging the customer's name. If you guys take the deposit, you run the deposit and be be responsible for the delinquent water accounts, then flag the person's name if they do decide to skip out on their bill, and that will force them to stay in an, in an apartment building where it's all-inclusive instead of being responsible for their water again. 
equalized billing, like Pamela said. If you guys are charging extra than what is being used, that money can be on reserve for when someone does go delinquent. And the water heater, water heater business. You guys have a water meter program, which I think you spent about $491,000 into funding. Well, I don't know if that's supposed to bring money to you, but I don't think it's really working because I didn't see any kind of revenue from it. So why don't you do what Kitchener does, where they have a water heating program where you put water heaters inside their house, you're getting, collecting, you're getting payments on people's water heaters. And uh, in the expenses on, the, on the, the water billing for 2000, the budget, it showed that there was $172,000, um, and that goes to the reserve fund. Is that the water reserve fund, or is that someone else's? I really hope that you guys really sit down and know how it's affecting the mom and dad landlords, because I, for one, cannot afford it. And I think if you're going to help out the fire line people, the same thing should be, should be happening for us, too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Members of Council, any questions? <coughs> Councillor Tucci. Oh, no. Okay, Councillor Wolf. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm just curious if you've had any uh, delinquent at accounts since we, from um, uh, Steve Fairweather, he said in terms of the city, we haven't had, uh, you know, once we've given all the notices, everybody's sort of paid up. We've been getting a lot of other minor things. I'm very strict with who I'm renting to because this is a risk now I'm willing to take. So it's going to be a lot difficult for me now to find the correct tenant that I want. So unfortunately, since this has been in, I've been sticking with this. I have one tenant that's underneath this bylaw. He did have an account. He thought he hooked up his water. He actually went to Hydro, thought everything was good. But then I got the setup fee um, with the water and wastewater charges in the mail, saying that it's now my responsibility since he never hooked it up. He has put his facts in, and he is showing that he is the, the, the tenant, and nothing has been sent to him. No confirmation saying that this is your bill now, it's in your name, and he never even received a bill yet. So there's a lot of misconfusion with what's going on, and I have been receiving a final meter read from the last tenant that moved out. And that's, and that's what my question was if I, in the email that I give you. Like, if you guys are not quick enough to bill the tenants, what's going to happen? Is it going to be like they're gone and now you can't go and give them the $50? Now every time a tenant moves out, it's going to cost me $50? And it's already been thrown out in court. Like, there was a gentleman who brought this to court, and they can't do nothing about this. You're dealing with someone's bill in their name. It's their responsibility. So I don't think to go to this far extent of taking them to court, it's going to cost me about $170 to even put, to put the paperwork in. So I'm not going to go for a big, unless it's a big balance, because we're looking at delinquent water bills pretty high from the step one of the collection process right to the end. And then not including, if, they, if, if I was a tenant and my, my bill was getting cut off, I would be doing everything to keep it on. So if I got to bounce a check at the bank and wait that three to five days, it will happen. So how much is that fee? Because that could be my responsibility also. And it's, it's going to be very dif difficult for people to rent now in, in our units. Like she was talking, uh, there was a lady, Joanne, talking about affordable housing. We've been trying to get affordable housing because it benefits us too. So if we can keep it affordable and not have to jack up our rent just because there is a risk there, a bank is not going to give you a loan if you're high risk. So why should I give you my property? If you're a risk to me. Thank you. Okay, Councillor Council, please. Kayla, thank you, Mayor Cray, through you. Kayla, if there's one concession that you'd like to see Council do for the landlord and tenants, or landlords, what would that be? I would to not make us responsible for someone else's debt. Okay. So that would be the concession you'd like that's, to see? That's what it boils down to be, just because we are open, we're sitting ducks. Because there is people that are going to be coming underneath hardship, and they will not be able to pay their bills, and things are going to happen. And when you, if you actually took the time to look at how tribunal works, you realize that a tenant can stay in your unit for yeah. at least about five months. Yeah, so they could be staying in my unit, not paying me rent, and using the water and racking up a bill in my name. And I, I'm sorry, I can't afford it. Like I, they can't afford it. I can't afford it. Like who, who's going to afford it? And I think as a city, like, we should be, like, you, there's a lot of money in fees. And I feel bad for the tenants after researching how many fees because they will be late on their rent. And I don't think that there should be a fee for a post-data check. I'm, they're trying to give you your money early. So I think that that has to be worked out also for, uh, as me caring for the tenants. 
but I provide a good service for the tenants. I make sure that their furnace is up kept, their water heater, there's a roof. They have any issues with their flooring or walls. I have that covered and they don't have to pay a dime and that's what gets calculated in as their rent. And I can't charge interest. If my tenants laid on their rent, I can't charge interest. Okay. But the I, city can. I got the uh, message. Thank you. Okay. Right. All right. <laughs> well, I'm not getting beep now, so I got to take advantage of it. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Uh,